Hello everyone and welcome to my Royal Family Today Update channel. I have hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Princess Kate can wow in less attractive designs, according to a clever styling method. Kate Middleton is known for making a statement in bright colors, most notably at Royal Ascot in a crimson Alexander McQueen gown, while some may attribute the princess's ability to pull off any style to her brown locks and thin stature, a celebrity stylist believes it is due to her complexion. Despite being a senior member of the royal family, Kate has established herself as a fashion star, and with that comes a plethora of eye-catching costumes. In reality, Kate, Princess of Wales, has been spotted in a variety of colors, tints, and styles. The 41-year-old constantly stands out in crowds, wearing anything from cobalt and pastel blue dresses to deep red and fuchsia pink evening gowns. Kate's ability to pull off a variety of outfits, according to celebrity stylist and royal fashion expert Miranda Holder, boils down to one easy styling tip. Each person is assigned a skin season based on the tone of their complexion, hair color, and eye color. Kate has warm brown hair, hazel green eyes, and a cool, fair skin tone that shifts from yellow to pink. There is a lot of debate about Kate's coloring, but she is actually a true autumn skin tone, Miranda said. She looks great in rich, warm tones like egg yolk yellow and scarlet red, but thanks to her dedicated glam squad, she looks great in a range of colors because they know how to compensate if a tone is slightly less flattering, the stylist stated. Kate's styling tip is knowing which colors suit you best and then learning how to get away with wearing the colors that don't. The Princess of Wales go-to-color scheme for true autumn includes golden, earthy, and flaming hues. The level of warm greens, bright yellows, orangey reds, and golden brown tones in her outfit reflects this. While the color chart for Kate's skin tone does not favor pure white tones, the princess compensates with her hair, cosmetics, and accessories. Kate wore a white polka dot gown with dark pink lipstick and brown eyeshadow to provide warmth and richness to the Order of the Garter procession earlier in June. She accessorized the eye-catching look with neutral pearl drop earrings in an off-white hue. Though Kate was not dressed in her colors, the meticulous selection of accessories made her complexion glow as much as if she were dressed in mustard yellow or mellow brown. When the Princess of Wales does wear her colors, her cosmetics and diamonds are clearly less elaborate. The Royal Statement Crimson Alexander McQueen gown at Royal Ascot recently spoke for itself. For the summer occasion, the elegant 41-year-old paired the look with bare lips and minimal bronzed makeup. Despite wearing striking gold earrings, Kate kept the rest of her outfit muted and modest in comparison to when she wore Kate's outside William of surprises George with a day out at the England-Australia Ashes Test. Prince William and Prince George are known to enjoy a variety of sports. They have been seen watching football, rugby, tennis, and cricket tournaments together over the years. Under the watchful eyes of two future monarchs, England and Australia faced off in the second Ashes Test on Saturday. On Saturday, Prince William elected to accompany his firstborn son to the Lord's Cricket Ground in London. The Prince of Wales can be seen pointing at something while speaking to Prince George in a photo of father and son seated in the royal box. Meanwhile, the child who turns 10 this month was staring intently at the field. Prince William wore a blue blazer over a light blue shirt and appeared calm. Prince George wore a dark blue blazer and a checkered shirt, almost identical to his father. The two royals sat close to Richard Thompson, the head of the England and Wales cricket board, who is also a future king. Kate, Princess of Wales, Prince Louis, and Princess Charlotte were all missing from what appeared to be a special father-son meeting today. This is far from William and George's first combined sporting event. In October 2019, father and son were joined by Charlotte and Kate as they traveled to Norfolk to watch Aston Villa, the Prince of Wales' favorite football team, defeat the local Premier League squad. In July 2021, the third in line to the throne watched both the men's EURO semi-final and final matches, sharing with his parents his hopes for England to win the title and his grief when Italy won. George is also a tennis aficionado, and he traveled to Wimbledon with Kate and William last summer to see Novak Djokovic's triumphant performance. Finally, in February 2022, 
Prince George traveled to Twickenham Stadium to see the rivalry between Kate and William in front of thousands of fans. The Six Nations match they watched together was the first occasion the Welsh rugby team, whose patron is William, faced England since the Princess of Wales became the English player's patron. Kate said on the special family outing that she frequently plays rugby with George, who picked up the sport at his former school. With his ultra Thomas's casual Battersea. approach to clothing at the ashes, Prince William risks sending hearts racing. Prince William surprised his son Prince George with a day at the ashes. New photos of Prince William enjoying a day at the cricket may have fans' hearts racing as he sports an unexpected look. On Saturday, the Prince of Wales was observed wearing a light blue shirt with a darker blue jacket and sunglasses while watching the second test at Lord's, but William startled supporters by wearing his shirt with the top buttons undone for the match. With England and Australia playing another day of cricket, William brought along his eldest son, Prince George. In one image, the Prince of Wales can be seen from the royal box explaining something to his son. George, who turns 10 this month, appeared to be watching intently as England began to bowl against their fierce rivals. George dressed for the event in a dark blue suit. The two were strikingly similar, and George looked to mirror his father by imitating some of his mannerisms. George was overjoyed to be given a copy of the iconic Ashes Urn. England is presently attempting to make up ground against Australia in the Ashes after the visitors took a 1-0 lead late last month in an entertaining conclusion to the first test. Following a disappointing performance yesterday, England made a tactical tweak to short-pitched bowling this morning, which Australia exploited in their first innings. On Saturday, England seamers took out Usman Kawaja, Steve Smith, and Travis Head in a brave recovery effort, keeping them in the hunt. Rishi Sunak was also in attendance, greeting William in the Royal Box alongside ECB Chairman Richard Thompson. As the adults spoke, George tucked into a slice of pizza, only moments after greeting Sunak himself. William has previously brought George to sporting events, with both formerly supporting with football team Aston approach Villa. to clothing at the ashes, Prince William risks sending hearts racing. Prince William surprised his son Prince George with a day at the ashes. New photos of Prince William enjoying a day at the cricket may have fans' hearts racing as he sports an unexpected look. On Saturday, the Prince of Wales was observed wearing a light blue shirt with a darker blue jacket and sunglasses while watching the second test at Lord's, but William startled supporters by wearing his shirt with the top buttons undone for the match. With England and Australia playing another day of cricket, William brought along his eldest son, Prince George. In one image, the Prince of Wales can be seen from the royal box explaining something to his son. George, who turns 10 this month, appeared to be watching intently as England began to bowl against their fierce rivals. George dressed for the event in a dark blue suit. The two were strikingly similar, and George looked to mirror his father by imitating some of his mannerisms. George was overjoyed to be given a copy of the iconic Ashes Urn. England is presently attempting to make up ground against Australia in the Ashes after the visitors took a 1-0 lead late last month in an entertaining conclusion to the first test. Following a disappointing performance yesterday, England made a tactical tweak to short-pitched bowling this morning, which Australia exploited in their first innings. On Saturday, England seamers took out Usman Kawaja, Steve Smith, and Travis Head in a brave recovery effort, keeping them in the hunt. Rishi Sunak was also in attendance, greeting William in the Royal Box alongside ECB Chairman Richard Thompson. As the adults spoke, George tucked into a slice of pizza, only moments after greeting Sunak himself. William has previously brought George to sporting events, with both formerly supporting football team Aston Villa. Thanks for watching if you liked this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.